All right, let's make a quick one here to address the infamous pedal situation here with some of these older trucks. This is an 04 uh, Silverado 1500. And we have an X-Max kit here, um, which Holly tells you, of course, you've got to use a specific pedal. Uh, after buying a couple different pedals, and realizing that these things are all coming out of like uh, uh, CTSVs or, or VETS or GTOs or something, uh, the pedal reach is way too short. And on these trucks, you see the, the reach is a lot longer because of where these things bolt up. So unless you can fabricate yourself some kind of carbon composite giraffe leg extension, you're probably gonna wanna use your stock pedal. Problem there is, Factory gives you a nine pin connector and Holly wants you to use one of these little boys, one of these little six pins. Did a little investigating. There's like, I can't find anything on YouTube about this. Um, so did a little chickity check here. The uh, actual pin out from the factory on the truck, you'll notice down here at the bottom, the actual sensor. There's all nine pins, but you'll notice APP1 is used, APP2 is used. The last three are, are for APP sensor three, which is not actually used in this truck. Only the five, five volt reference uh, is pinned, but neither the signal, actually the low reference is also, but there's no signal out of um, APP3. So it's not actually used. Uh, I'm sure there's some reason why it's in there, probably for some other market or something, but. Um, only one and two, which would be three pins each, so you got six pins there, uh, are used. So that's good because that means we can match up those six if we know what Senor Holly wants. So what this guy did is he went and bought this current performance uh, harness bit, but the terminal lens on the plug side were wrong. They gave him male pins, and it's obviously male all over there also or you know he they them there i don't know what they want to be called by but you get the idea um so that wasn't going to work so what he had to do was take the factory and cut it off he decided to i didn't do that i did not do that do not hold that against me um but hey in fairness it works so i'll give him that it does work uh he went ahead and and um he made his own six pin uh couldn't get it to work so i decided to flip around here and start messing around and, and repin them according to according to this guy and according to that's the holly dbw harness holly gives you the schematic for what needs to go where which in reality it's just uh, uh one signal it's tps2 and tps1 and then each one of course has a a low reference and a uh, 5 volt. So uh, you get those guys and then you just match them up with this harness with uh, with the factory pin out and just pin them out according, you know, accordingly. So um, in reality, you probably could have done without this, this extension here. Um, well, actually, no, I guess you're going to need something to convert the Holly 6 pin to the factory one anyway. So you're still going to need this guy. So, but yeah, that's it. We did that, flipped them around. Um, somebody on the Holly group page named Brandon, Brandon Lowell, I think. Uh, I'm probably butchering the hell out of your names, sorry. But he was sharp enough to realize that what Holly expects is, uh, let me show you guys here. So you've got, these two here, right, low reference and your 5 volt, these two are fine. On APP2, however, these guys, 1 and 2, D and B, you've actually got to flip them. One side is a rising signal, the other side is a falling signal. So you've got to flip your 5 volt reference and your low references uh, in the uh, in the actual pinout itself. So uh, B here goes to D, D goes to B, and once you do that, your little TPS garbage and voila it works and you get to keep your long leg here and uh, you're good to go so have any other questions or anything go ahead and 
hit me up, shoot me a message. Otherwise, good luck.